Hi, I'm Erica Meller. I'm a member of the editorial team here at World Book Encyclopedia, and I'm here to talk to you about the Iguanodon. Our understanding of dinosaurs has changed dramatically over the years. Early scientists thought these animals were slow-moving, unintelligent creatures that did not adapt well to changing environments. Today, however, scientists believe that dinosaurs were among the most adaptable and diverse animals that ever lived. Scientists who discovered the first dinosaur fossils noticed that the fossil bones resemble the bones of living reptiles, such as crocodiles or lizards. In fact, the name dinosaur was coined in 1842 by Englishman Richard Owen. The word dinosaur is derived from the Greek words meaning terrible lizard. Iguanodon was one of the first dinosaurs discovered. In 1825, Mary Ann Mantell, an English amateur naturalist, found a large tooth partially buried in a rock. She showed the tooth to her husband, Gideon, a physician who collected fossils. He decided that the tooth came from a huge iguana-like reptile, which he named Iguanodon. Iguanodon means iguana tooth. Mantell believed that the dinosaur's teeth resembled those of modern iguanas. As more fossils of Iguanodon were found, scientists learned more about its anatomy and how it might have lived. When the first Iguanodon skeleton was discovered, it was believed that the animal walked much like the iguana, with its legs splayed out from each side of its body and elbows pointing outward. One of the more notable characteristics of Iguanodon is its thumb. Instead of a thumb, it had a large pointed spike. But when this part of its skeleton was first discovered, only one spike was found. Early paleontologists didn't know it was part of the animal's hand. Instead, they believed the sharp pointed spike was positioned at the end of Iguanodon's nose, more like the horn on a rhinoceros. In the late 1840s, Richard Owen commissioned Benjamin Waterhouse Hawkins, a British artist and amateur scientist, to build the first life-size sculptures of dinosaurs based on his speculations of what iguanodons looked like. The dinosaur sculptures were made of iron skeletons and fashioned from bricks and concrete. They were depicted as quadrupeds, that is, walking on all fours, and look as though they are inspired by modern day dogs. This placement made sense within the prevailing view that Iguanodon was simply a giant lizard. Only later, when a series of more complete Iguanodon fossil skeletons were found in a Belgian coal mine in 1878, did scientists get to examine the entire anatomy of this creature. They found that what they thought was a horn was actually the thumb on the hand of the Iguanodon. In addition, they discovered that Iguanodon most likely walked upright on two legs, rather than with all four limbs on the ground. During the late 1800s and early 1900s, large deposits of dinosaur remains were discovered in Western North America, Europe, Asia, and Africa. Today, most dinosaur discoveries are made in China, Mongolia, Argentina, and various parts of Africa. Many also occur in the United States and Canada. During the late 1900s, extensive research and fossil discoveries greatly increased the number of known dinosaurs. Scientists discover and describe an average of seven new kinds of dinosaurs every year. There is much we still don't know about dinosaurs.